Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Things. In this video, we are going to learn about what are the built-in functions available in Python to perform certain operations in Dixon. Let's get into the computer screen and let's get started. So now I will create a dictionary here. So for that I'll write here D is equals to let's say in the dictionary the key is 1 and the value is let's say ABC and uh, another key is let's say 2 and the value is DEF and uh, uh, 3 and the value is GHI and so on. Okay. So this is a dictionary. So let's say I want to access a value. So how can I access that? To access a value, there is a built-in function available in Python that is get function. I'll write a print function here and inside this print function, I'll write d dot get. Okay. So inside this get function, I need to pass the key. Let's say I want to pass the key as 1 and now if I run this file, then you can see it will print abc. Okay. That means it will print the corresponding value of this key. So similarly, if I write here inside this uh, get function, if I pass 3, then it will print ghi, okay, then you can see here, okay, so now uh, I will clear the terminal and uh, if I access an element, let's say I will uh, pass here 10, okay, but this key 10 is not present inside this dictionary, so what happens, now if I run this file, then you can see, it is printing none okay so here it is printing none but i want to print my own custom message here so how can i do that to print own custom message you can specify here uh, by uh, writing a comma and inside this i will specify here suppose uh, not found okay and uh, now if i run this file then you can see it is printing not found okay so if instead of 10 if i write here suppose 1 and now if i run this file then you can see it is printing the value okay the corresponding value that means if you are specifying the key here if that key is exist in the dictionary then it will print the corresponding value of this key if that key is not exist in this dictionary then it will print this custom message here okay so i want to remove an element from this dictionary so to remove an element there is a built-in function available in python that is pop function i will simply write here d dot pop and inside this pop function i will specify the key which i want to remove let's say i will specify here 3 and then if i print the value of d and now if i run this file then you can see it is printing the dictionary only having two elements okay uh, the third element is removed from this dictionary so this pop function is also return the value okay so uh, let's say i will cut here and uh, i will print the pop function that means i will pass this expression inside print function so now if i run this file uh, then you can see it is printing ghi that means this pop function will return the corresponding value of the specified key here okay so let me clear the terminal and i'll show you another thing here let me remove it and uh, if i write a print function here and inside this print function i'll write d dot keys okay so this keys function will return all the keys present inside this dictionary so now if i run this file then you can see it is uh, returning all the keys okay one two three here so you can see here the result so let me clear the terminal and uh, instead of writing this keys function if i specify here uh, uh, let me copy the print statement and uh, i'll paste paste here and uh, now i will comment the previous print statement and instead of writing keys function i will call another function that is uh, items okay so now if i run this file then you can see what will be the result then you can see it is printing all the uh, elements in the form of tuple you can see here this is a tuple and this is another tuple and this is another tuple okay so it will print uh, a list of tuple when you use the items function okay so now if i write here a print function and inside this print function i'll write d dot pop items okay so this pop item is a another function which is a built-in function available in python now if i run this file then you can see it is printing 
3 and ghi that means if i does not specify any index or any sorry not index any key okay if i does not specify any key inside this pop item then it will uh, by default remove the last element from this dictionary okay and it will return a tuple okay of that key and value so it will make a tuple of that key and value and return that tuple okay you can see here and uh, now if i uh, here if i print uh, the value of d then you can see uh, now if i run this file then you can see in the first print statement it will remove uh, this third element and then in the second print statement when i print this dictionary it will print the dictionary only with two values okay so now this is a dictionary and uh, i will create another dictionary here let's say d2 and uh, i'll give suppose uh, let's say i'll write here 10 and uh, the value is a and uh, the key is suppose 20 and the value is let's say b okay so now this is a dictionary and uh, let's say the first dictionary i'll rename it as d1 okay so i want to update this d1 with this d2 dictionary okay then how can i do that so to do that there is a built-in function available in python that is update function i'll simply write here d1 dot update okay and then inside this update i'll pass d2 okay so now if i print the value of d1 and uh, now i'll run this file then you can see it will update all the contents of this dictionary 2 in dictionary 1 okay you can see here the dictionary 1 is updated with the values of dictionary 2 here okay so let me clear the terminal and uh, i'll remove all these things so i'll rename it as d and now i want to print all the values present inside this dictionary so for that there is a built-in function available in python that is value so i'll simply write here a print function and inside this i will simply write d dot values okay sorry values and uh, now if i uh, run this file then you can see it is printing all the values present inside this dictionary okay so that means it is returning the list of values okay so this is it for now we will continue from this onwards in our next video thank you for watching this video